Mr. Boom. This is what I think of the umpires, boy. Uh-oh. This is really bad. I don't know what to do, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, get your go. Anytime you want, go, John. Come on. Yes, Oh my god. That's what happened when umpires deal with Gal Ordinari. When umpires deal with Gal Ordinari. Oh my god, John, you killed that sucker. Oh shit. Oh my god, John. Okay, we're gonna have to go. Where'd you get that from, Jackson? Hey, John! What the hell are you taking? John! What do you mean? Don't you smashed a brand new $450 monitor screen. Well, and you know it's from, it's from Texas. It's not only from Texas, it's from Houston, Texas. That's where J.J. Watt and his family are from. John! 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 No, 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 no! John! Get back off! Go back off, John! Oh my god! I don't know what to do. Oh my god, he's dying. This guy's freaking dying. <laughs> John! <laughs> Thank you. Five point eight followers, baby. Go. Welcome to Joe Sports Channel. You can follow me on Joe the Fighting Jam Instagram. You can follow me on Take a Devil One. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to be on here today, and we finally got. John Mortar Nice. How you doing, John? Not bad. Where are you from in Texas? Love in Texas. Are you? Yeah. Now I want you to read that shirt. Stand up. And what's that shirt say? Lunatic fringe. <laughs> Lunatic fringe. That's unbelievable. And what's the back say? <laughs> you just made the list. <laughs> The list is unbelievable, believe me. Okay. Somebody says, get some over headlights for the love of God. Chris, what, what do you think about Chris? Is he Chris is a good guy? I like Chris. I don't know. You're a good guy. Okay, we got a couple questions. Okay, some guy says, does this guy have a Trump relay to go to? <laughs> what do you think about that? Chris said, does this guy have a Trump relay to go to? Trump what? Relay. Because in Texas, they support Trump, you know? Do, do, do you think, <laughs> you feel like a Trump supporter? Yeah. You do? Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Okay, let's show his face again. Okay. Okay, talk about your life. What do you do for a living? Talk, tell them. Tell them what you do. What do I do? Yeah. I just travel around. Yeah? I have lots of money. Yeah? And where, where, where do you work? Where do you used to work? I don't work anywhere now. You don't work anywhere right now? No. Yeah. Really? No. You don't do anything right now? What do you do? Nah. Just freaking go sports, watch wrestling, fish, hunt. That's all, dude. Yeah? Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay. You got a, you got a son, right? You got a son, right? That's right. And where does your son come from? Where does he come from? Yeah. Texas. Does he? Red Heart. Okay. Why don't you ask him a question about Texas? For explain why are you Texas blueberries are so delicious? Does he does he long for the days of Oilers or guns of a cowboy hat? 
That's Chris. Read that. If you read that comment down there, you're gonna laugh right now. Read that comment. <laughs> what do you say about that? I have lots of girls. I don't care. From Texas, what do you expect? Everybody Texas got guns. You know Ask him why every quarterback from Texas is a freaking failure in the NFL. You know, Chris, I love you, Chris. You got, you got some great questions. Okay, so he's saying every quarterback in Texas is a freaking failure. Mm -hmm. What is your take back on that? I don't know. Why is it failure? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really. And I'm from Texas. Yeah, you but explain yes. yourself. Well, it's nothing, it's nothing to do with me. I'm not, I don't play football. Well, you used to. I just watch it. How many, how many Dallas Cowboys have you been to? Watch the Steelers, haven't you? Oh, many. Did you? Yeah, I saw them. Somebody, Chris, does San Antonio have big ass white women? Oh, probably. They're everywhere. <laughs> does it, is the Pope Catholic? <laughs> yeah, unbelievable, Johnny. You know, John. You're, 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 a hum, you're, a, you're a humble guy, okay. Okay, okay. that was a good interview. Thank you very much, John. I really, really appreciate all that hard work you came on here today. I hope, uh, I hope everything goes up with your wife. Do you have any more few words to say before? Do you have any, more, any words to say to Chris? No, that's the more. That's Look at this. Our Texas men all fat with this. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. You're the best. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Just give me one more. I gotta walk this man out of the Texas. That was unbelievable. <laughs> thank you, thank you, John. Really appreciate all that, man. Good luck to Texas and go fight those hungry, all those guys. Look at this. Look at this. You just made the list. Thank you, John. Appreciate all that information. You're you're a, you're a humble guy. Uh, right now, this, the man is leaving. Right now, he has work tomorrow. He has to go back to right now. He's going to Alabama right now. And. Uh, Take care, huh? Say goodbye to the fans. Bye. See you, buddy. <laughs> See? Look at that shirt. You just made the list. Take care. <laughs> See ya. See ya, John. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Joe Sports Channel will be by himself. Give me one moment. Hello? What happened? I think telephone got disconnected. Well, uh, are you the guy from Australia? No, I'm from India. Oh, you're from India? My okay. Friend, I called you, you seven times. Eh? Well, you called me seven times. Well, listen to this, buddy. Listen to this. Yeah. Listen to this. You respect me, I respect you. That's how I work. Okay? Okay. Why did you call me? What's the reason? I want, I want to know you, get to know you more. Well, thank you very much. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love you. Are, are you married? Do you have any kids or anything? Uh, no, I'm, I'm single. Okay, we're going to find you one. What? We're going we're gonna to find you one. You're going to find me a wife? Yes, we're going to find you a wife. What kind of person? We're, we're going to find you a beautiful wife, believe me. Believe you, or I believe everything you tell me. We're going to find you. We're going to find you the perfect perfect woman on the face of this earth and we are gonna we we are gonna make you great again believe me we are gonna make india great again like it is number one thank you very much guys india is first india america's first america's last india is second and india is third i love you man you're the best man you know you're an unbelievable guy and I, I, I you know these people i call them radishing cougars and people say i don't make sense well I might not make sense, but people understand me. You know what radishing cougar means? Yes, man. I understand everything you're saying today. Oh, you understand? When I say radishing cougars, you might think in a different way. When I say radishing cougars, I think you're humble, you're strong, and your brain is like a tool. Because you got to use your brain. When I go on here, I use my brain. It comes from my brain. It doesn't come from my mouth. It comes from my brain, then to my mouth. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're, you're very good, man. I like it. You're, you're, you're a good guy. Believe me, you are. One sec, your cousin is... Okay, uh, Chris, 
We don't deal with that. Somebody said your cousin is freaking hot, man. We don't deal with that. Okay, we're going to report you. So absolutely, that's delete. Sorry, man, but I don't deal with it. If you read my Instagram, Instagram thing. Okay, what'd you say? I heard you something support what? Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Okay. Mohammed Hamoud. Big Mike. It's my honor to be on here today. And I want I want to say a few words to you. Wallah. Because the bottom of my heart. Your wedding was humble. Your wedding was number one. I have never, ever ate so much. And the food was ridiculous. And when I say ridiculous, people think it's a, ridiculous is a bad. No, no. When I say ridiculous to you, it is a total different story. The food was good. The dessert was good. Everything was good. The wedding was good. Your daughter, unbelievable. The, the dancers, the Egyptian, the Lebanese, it was ridiculous. I really, really enjoyed it. And I appreciate you inviting me. Thank you again. And I am humbled. Congratulations. Elf Mabrook. Farhtak. Big Mike. And my mother, Nancy Halbuni Sayyah, this is her word. She says, congratulations, and she said as well, humbled. Humble is a good word. You can use humble as two words. Mr. Trump uses it, and I use it. There's not that many people who use humble, but me and him absolutely use it. Believe me. So thank you. And Chris, does it look like I care if you say those comments, does that make me, I'm not going to go to Finch and be a broadcaster? Like I told you, it's all positive. It's all in here. No matter what, I will always try. And I don't care if you like me or not. Just respect me, and I respect you. But if you don't respect me, then I don't respect you. That's how I work. And if you don't like Joe Sports, then don't watch it. Get the hell off my show. That's the best thing to do. If you don't like my show, get off. Go watch something else. It's true. Seriously. I don't like jokes on here. If you don't like how I talk, then get the hell out of here. Thank you for improving on the lighting. You know what, Chris? I had enough of this crap. I'm going to I'm gonna tell that straight now. I don't care if you like me or not. Chris, you are the most disgusting human being with those comments. You think you're really funny? Well, I got two words for you. You're not funny. If you don't like me, then go away. Because I heard some people say, I'm not going to say their names, your, jo your jokes, you think your jokes are really, really good. But you know what, Chris? They're absolutely disgusting. Last week on Sunday, Great Balls and Fire, your comments were disgusting. So, just go away if you don't like my channel. Thank you. And I won't be reading any of your comments because they're all gibberish and they are Maharaja. Believe me, it's true. It is true. I don't like this kind of people. They're, they're stupidity. They can want... Listen, listen, haters love me. Haters love me. They always do. I should get a shirt. Haters love me. But I'm not going to do that because I'm paying money for the haters to love me. So I'm not paying that. Let them pay me and I'll pay for the shirts. There's an old word and I call it cowards. That's what my grandma was using. Cowards. And she uses it for everything. So people like that are cowards. Haters are the cowards. So it should be a shirt... Keep climbing for cow uh, cowards and haters. That's who you should be. Believe me, it's true. You give me the money, and I'll make the shit, and I'll give it to every single person out there. All the haters. Not the ones who love me. All the haters. Believe me, it's true. Anyways, incredible person. I'll give you 20 bucks for one of those shirts. You? You are a lunatic, Fringe. You are the biggest lunatic I've seen out there. You have the most disgustingest comments out there. I don't care if you're laughing over there. I don't really care. I don't care if you like me or not. You respect me, I respect you. But there's a thing between me and you. 
last Sunday. I don't know if I have any more respect for you after being disgusting with those comments. I don't take those jokes like that, sir. I don't. I don't. People even told me, Chris, I'm going to talk to John Laurinaitis. He's sick of you, too. I want to talk about 2012 when John Cena won the...